The summit has adopted the G20 New Delhi Leaders Declaration. The G20 has contributed to making India world ready and the world India ready. The declaration that the leaders have agreed on today focuses on promoting strong, sustainable, balanced and inclusive growth. Friends from the media, it is a great pleasure for all of us to speak to you uh, even as the G20 summit deliberations continue. Uh, you may be aware that at the start of the second session, uh, the summit has adopted the G20 New Delhi Leaders Declaration. What I would like to do is to give you an overarching perspective of India's G20 presidency. Uh, thereafter, I would request my colleague, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, to speak about the key outcomes from the finance track. The Indian G20 Sherpa, uh, Amitabh Kant, will then similarly speak on the results of the Sherpa track. Uh, we would thereafter be very glad to respond to your questions and comments. The message of our presidency, as you are all aware, is that we are one earth, one family, and we share one future. We have consciously sought to make this G20 as inclusive and broad-based as possible. It is witnessing the participation of its, obviously, its 20 member states, nine invitee nations, and 14 international organizations. It is a matter of particular satisfaction for us that the African Union has this morning become a permanent member of the G20, that too during the Indian presidency. The G20 has contributed to making India world ready and the world India ready. The declaration that the leaders have agreed on today focuses on promoting strong, sustainable, balanced and inclusive growth. It seeks to accelerate progress on SDGs and, and has come up with an action plan accordingly. It envisages a green development pact for a sustainable future. It endorses high-level principles on lifestyle for sustainable development, voluntary principles on hydrogen, the Chennai principles for a sustainable and resilient blue economy, and the Deccan principles on food security and nutrition, among others. The transformative and inclusive role of technology has been highlighted with a focus on digital public infrastructure. The Indian Presidency's proposal of a One Future Alliance has also been noted. The G20 has reaffirmed the fundamental importance of gender equality and committed to halve the digital gender gap by 2030. Recognizing that the post-pandemic world order must necessarily be different from the world before it, the leaders have also emphasized the need to reinvigorate multilateralism and reform international financial institutions. This is particularly relevant to managing global debt volumes.